that have uh, canids from my uh, daughter-in-law in New Jersey. In New Jersey, they grow, they don't freeze, and, you know, they just keep on growing. And so, um, next morning, I, I've been doing this since I was 15. That was like close to 50 years, I don't, you know, worked outside. So, um, next day I couldn't put my shirt on, you know, <laughs> and my wife said, why did you do your left hand? And I said, well, I, I've just been doing this for 49 years, you know, and it works. So I had a bad injury and it turned out I had some other stuff, you know, uh, deformity there and all that. But it was like uh, two years ago in physical therapy, finally the arm got strong, I could, I could use it for things, but I couldn't do any push-ups, you know? Because I, sometimes I would do maybe 50 a day or something, you know, and I, it told me I couldn't do other stuff too. And uh, so, um, Every two months, I try to do a push-up, you know. <laughs> and, you know so right before this meeting, I tried like a ball flat on my face, you know. And so uh, he's saying, right arm, just going to get healed. And Mary sitting next to me, she said, well, how, that you, Frank, how will you know if you're healed? I said, well, if I could do a push-up, you know. And she goes, well, go up in front. I said, I'll go up in front, you know. <laughs> and she said, I said, I'm going to go home and do it. You know, do one, you know. Because the doctor said, you know, no more overthrowing hands, you know, no more playing golf because you got if there's something here and when you got the white hair, you know, your, your, bone, your cartilage and your muscles become like uh, dried out uh, rubber bands, you know. So you got to be, whatever you think you can do, you do half as much, you know. So I did one. And then I got up to 15, you know. So then I, that was good. And then I, this year, so, so God healed me for like about a year and a half, you know. But then this year I changed jobs and I carried a box of my office equipment half a mile to my new office. And then the shoulder got stuck again, you know. And it's just like, come on, I used to carry 50 pounds of potatoes. <laughs> but then uh, the other thing is, so I said, so I went through like eight rounds of PT and all this stuff, and they finally found something. So I could function within that pain, you know. And then I finally, I said, God, you know, you healed me before, why don't you, well, we've been praying all along too, you know. And I said, well, I'd like to still be able to, you know, use my arm, you know. And uh, so then God healed me, I'm able to, do some push-ups again, I can go swimming, you know, and uh, do stuff, you know, play with my dad. Amen. That's right. Praise the Lord. Now, you know, I realize that people get healed, but sometimes they don't want to stand up in front of other folks. So who's been healed, but you ain't going to come up here? Raise your hand. Raise your hand. One, two... Oh, you're my trickle well on the count. Okay, come on now. Speak on the microphone. Hi, my name is Priya. I was here last year and I was suffering um, with um, bulge discs. Four of my discs, C4, 5, 6, and 7, were bulged, and uh, the doctor was uh, giving me treatments and um, cortisone shots, nothing would help. And I came for prayer, and God healed me, and I didn't have to go to any surgery. Praise God for that. Uh, I had an issue with my right knee. I had fallen many times and I had injured really bad. So that was working up and um, last year, okay, and that was healed. <laughs> Praise God for that. Yeah. And uh, this year, for the past seven or eight months, um, I've been having this arthritis pain. The doctors did many tests, but it works, looks like um, rheumatoid arthritis, but then they couldn't find anything else. So they are like asking me for more tests and stuff like that. So for, because of that, I couldn't cook, I couldn't brush my teeth, I couldn't comb my hair. Everything, even small things would matter. You know, it would like yeah, you were having problems in, in both hands. Both the hands. Yeah, both the hands. Both the hands. Both the uh, hands. So it was literally very, very painful. So I wouldn't cook for like I didn't cook for more than seven months now. So my, ma my mom got really worried and she's like, I'm coming. <laughs> and uh, they had to come and everything. And uh, today I was able to have to, last night I was like totally ill and praise God for that. I couldn't do that. After seven months or so, I was able to cook today. Yeah. Hallelujah! And uh, come on. Hey, listen, y'all. Uh, well, I don't know if Randy's going to be mad at me, but Randy turned 62 today. Good day. So, I'm, I'm going to let you testify, but we got to sing happy birthday to Randy. Ready? 
some Indian food. Yeah. <laughs> so good, make you want to slap somebody. Oh. <laughs> I'm a Mashanda. Yeah. I ate so much I had to actually repent. <laughs> <laughs> no, for real. I said, for this, honest to God, true. Lord, I confess the sin of overeating, self-indulgence. <laughs> and I first blamed John. I said, Lord, because the, the food was so good. And I said, like, okay, Lord, I, I should have stopped. I repent, forget me. But I did, I blame y'all. Because whoever cooked that food is to blame. Because it was so good. No, it was really me. It was really good. Okay, we can get back to service now. <laughs> Happy birthday, Pastor. <laughs> uh, my name is Matt. Um, last year, uh, multiple things happened. When I came in, I had a backache and everything, and uh, Pastor Tony can ask people who started feeling the healing and right there, you know, the uh, healing had begun. And when I came up there to testify, this was interesting because he was talking about many, many examples of healing and one of that is a lack of smell being healed. So I was so curious because from childhood I've been affected, uh, you know, with multiple, you know, asthma and everything. So um, I asked about that right there and uh, uh, he asked like, you know, are you willing to you know, like, just obey, and, uh, you know, it just, Jesus just healed me, and uh, there's partial restoration for me that is amazing, that people won't understand, but it is something that you lack, that you experience again, so, yeah, it has been great, and last night I came in, uh, for several months I've been um, having the severe, um, kind of a muscle problem going on in my ankle, like, uh, con consistently all the time, you know, either I limp or not, or whatever, so last night I was waiting and waiting and waiting to pray, but you know, like I was, I was so burdened for everyone. You know, I was praying for everyone, and at the end, I very last I came and I thought that oh, Pastor Tony I was too tired. You know, like and uh, you know, like uh, and after that, from last night, God has been healing slowly, mm -hmm. which is beautiful. Like it's like a seventy percent or something now. You know, like um, I believe that you know it's going to be total healing. Amen. So. Amen. Amen. Uh, one of the things I like to explain about healing is there's five different words for healing. I like to, when Jesus said, you lay hands upon the sick and they shall recover, the Greek word for recover means this. From the moment hands are laid on you, if you believe, these signs will follow them that believe. And the Greek means you believe and keep believing. From the moment hands are laid, the word recover means from the moment hands are laid on you, you get better and better till you're completely well. Now that's healing. When it's a miracle, it's bam. Instantaneous or immediate. I'm not in control of that. My job is to love Jesus and love you and pray. Then I need to leave the results up to him. You want to give a testimony about healing? Please come. Let's give her a hand clap for her willingness to pray. Not everybody likes to stand up in front of people. I mean, you know. I, when I first started, I was scared because I thought, well, you know, I can't talk right. Now, now I don't care. Amen. Who cares? Okay? I just love Jesus and let Jesus do what Jesus does. Praise the Lord. Oh, let me, let me, let me get the fix for you. Praise the Lord. You got it. Um, I'm going to start. Yeah, try to, no, no, try to be, Make just, short. yeah, please. Okay, I was in an accident four years ago. I hit a horse with my car. I was injured in my back. I had crushed vertebrae, and I had a herniated disc, and there was so much degeneration, they couldn't operate. So they installed 
a neural stimulator, a battery under my skin with lines that go up and they put it inside my spine and it blocks the pain from getting to my brain. But I still have nerve pain in the back. So when he was talking last night, he kept saying that someone in the middle of the back and in the bottom of their back, and in the middle of my back is where they took out the bone, and in the bottom of my back is where I'm injured. And he prayed over me, and I had my stimulator turned off, and I'm now, I can do things. It's like cold water is in my back, and it's not, it's not hurting. I mean, it's, it's, it's like it's, it's getting well and getting well and getting well every moment that I talk about it, and I can do this. I couldn't walk, right, I couldn't walk for three years. For three years, I walked like an old lady, and it took me 45 minutes to walk one mile. I couldn't walk upstairs, I couldn't do this. You know, and I praise the Lord because he heals us in all different ways. Yes. But the part that I needed healed, Brother Kent took care of. That was pride. And the emotional. Right. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Let's give the Lord praise for that. Yeah. Anybody else willing to give the Lord some praise for healing? Uh, come on. Amen. Hi, my name is Lynn Downey. Um, uh, two years ago, Tony went to Cobus Scout. I mm -hmm. think it was two years ago. I could have been, or last year. Some, it was, it was, it was in the past somewhere. Yeah, and um, I had a bunch of problems with my knee locking up like almost every 20 minutes. And um, he lifted up my feet and then one of my, well, one foot was like two inches short and he stretched it out. Jesus stretched it out. Yeah, Jesus stretched it out. And um, I never had any problems after that. And another time, well, that same day, I had terrible, terrible problems with the works for like five years. And um, I tried everything I could, but it didn't work at all. And um, he prayed over me, and like eight months later, they disappeared. Now, let me do this because we want to shift now into healing. Um, Jesus is your healer. Um, anyway, the Holy Spirit's been talking to me about somebody who has a problem with the bottom of your foot. And um, it's kind of like numbness, but it's also kind of like tingling and it bothers you. But there's a gift of healing being released by Jesus for you right now. And so what you have to do is you have to be the person, if you feel like that shoe, if that describes you, um, if you respond to this revelation, then God's power will manifest in your foot or your feet. And you'll be healed. Amen. So keep standing. If that's you, just keep standing because Jesus is doing this like right now. And uh, if you start like moving your feet a little bit, you're going to notice that something is changing because Jesus is doing this like right now. And so... Um, you know, whatever you need to turn and face it, where people are. Yeah, not on me. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. All around. Okay. Yeah, there you go. You move, move your feet. And as soon as you can tell a difference, yeah, because Jesus is healing you now. And Melissa, you need to keep track of the numbers. I guess she's here somewhere. Yes, that is actually. Thank you, Miss Melissa. As soon as you can tell a difference, you should come forward because Jesus is doing it. And you need to move your foot and kind of, yeah, because that's going to be your act of faith, believe me, you're healed. Because God's doing something. As soon as you know it's, it's changed, come on up. Because Jesus is healing. I mean, he's healing. 
Actually, I see the word neuropathy. And then some of this is related to like a sugar thing, too, that Jesus is healing. But God's doing it right now. You know, and it, listen, you don't have, there's times when as a preacher you're exciting, but sometimes you should just do this super calmly because it's the Holy Spirit, and he doesn't need us to raise our voice or do anything. It could just be done very quietly because it's not by your might, nor by your power, it's by my spirit, says the Lord. It's not by your effort or energy, it's by his presence. And Jesus is doing it. So you might want to move your feet, and uh, as soon as you can tell the difference, come on up. And because uh, God's doing it. Now, just real quick, uh, first name. Yeah. Uh, what was your problem? Which foot? How long have you had it? What's Jesus doing for you? It's my left foot. It's been uh, bothering me, my heel, for about a year. And just now, as I was stopping my foot, I felt like the pain was going away. Mm -hmm. It's almost like 90% gone. Oh, yeah, you're healed. Because you couldn't do that. You're going to make your place. You're going to make your place. Come on, First name. I'm Miriam. Miriam. And what was your problem? Type 1 diabetes going yeah. on 50 years next year. Uh huh. And um, when I get barefooted, it feels like I'm walking on rocks. Uh huh. And now? It feels like I'm walking on the carpet. <laughs> <laughs> um, let me have you two gentlemen. Brother, if you'll stand right this way, if you'll stand here, sister. Let me have your hands. Uh, let's pray, and let's see what Jesus will do about her sugar. Yeah. Now, I want you to continue to always shake her sugar, but like if it's like...